I showed you guys earlier how dirty this tank was. Now I'm going to clean the glass. I'm going to show you what a simple glass cleaning and water change will do for your tank and you'll see the difference. It will be totally amazing. The tank will be unrecognizable after I'm done with it. tank is so overcrowded and you're feeding a lot there's a lot of organic waste that builds up from the food and and the waste that they produce okay you see the pad here that's a, like slimy layer that you get uh, or slimy coating that you get on the wall and that's just a buildup of excessive organics once we wipe that away yeah the tank is gonna look pretty cloudy but um, it I'll let my filter run for a little bit and catch most of it and then I'll do a big water change to get the rest of it and then you'll see this tank will be crystal clear. So now when you're cleaning the tank you should be careful okay because you don't want to startle the rays, you, um, know the personality of your rays, you don't want to just shove them all around all over the place because they can panic just like that and I clean with this extension so that if they do freak out, I'm not going to get stung by them, okay? Because when they freak out, they act very erratic and they can whip their tail around. So that's what we want to try to avoid, okay? And this happens more often in a tank that's overcrowded because then because they have no room to go and they run into each other. So they will tend to panic a little bit more in an overcrowded tank and depending on species, okay? Um, one species that tends to panic a lot more are pearl rays, okay? And this tank that I'm cleaning here now are piebald pearls. So, you'll see, see, if I touch them a little bit, see? Well, uh, I'm losing my pad. All right, I'll show you guys later. Let me finish cleaning first. bottom of the tank now so I'm more than likely going to run into some of these rays like I got this guy right here watch when I touch him he's going to freak out a little bit see look at it he immediately jerks some of the other rays when you touch them they're very peaceful and they glide so I want to push them out of the way so that's what I do I use this and I push them out of the way so they're not near close to me so then I won't get hurt and he won't get hurt so now I'm going to do the bottom level, pretty much the same thing, just scrubbing all around. Wow, come look at this, these are the snow leopards, they're getting so big in this basket. They've been in this basket their whole lives and they're growing really nicely. Okay. So, I'm going to cut it right here. I'm going to finish cleaning up this tank and then uh, when I get to the next stage of maintaining this tank, I will, we'll start recording again. Um, basically, that will be, um, I'm going to let the filter run for a little bit, catch all the sediment and I'm going to do a major water change and I'm gonna show you the results of it afterwards. Okay? I'm done wiping down the walls of the tank. I just wanted to show you how murky the water has become because we've removed that slime coat off the wall of the tank and now it's just free floating in the water. It's super, super cloudy now, you see that? Here's the bottom level, super cloudy. You can barely see through, through to the other end. I'm gonna let the filter do its job, catch a majority of the particles, and I'll come back in about an hour and I'm gonna do a big water change. And you will see the difference. Something happened while I was cleaning the bottom tank over here. Um, the rays, the snow leopards in the basket 
that I showed you, they got startled, okay? And they went crazy in the basket, and they ended up stabbing each other. I know in a previous video, I, have, I showed you guys before, I randomly go around cutting stingers, especially in a tank where there's a lot of rays together, because that's what can happen. When they're really tight together and they, they spook or startle, and their tail starts whipping around, they start hurting each other, okay? But in this particular case, I didn't cut the spines on this one, and now some of the rays have sustained some injuries. So I will be cutting the spines later when I drain the water down. Look at that. See, she's all stabbed up right there. And then the little one is also a little bit stabbed up. The water's rippling, it's hard to tell. But there is a speck like right there that she got stabbed. And the stabbing all came from the big guy. How can I tell? Look at the stinger. The color, this, the, the, the black skin from her tail is from the stinger is gone. And you can see it's like hanging off. So most likely that's the one. I'll see they're getting startled again. Let me back away. So it's the big one with those two stingers right there. She's the one that stabbed up these guys. And this is just a result of overcrowding. So I'm going to need to rectify this problem. And, uh, but first, let me finish my maintenance and cleaning up everything. I will be moving these guys out into their own tank or bigger tanks. I'm ready now to start back flushing the filter and doing the water change. So let me start that off right now. And once I start that, as the water level goes down, I am going to clip the spines on those snow leopards in the basket so that they can't cause that kind of damage again. So the back flush is going. And I'm gonna let the water go down a little bit and we'll start. I got my clippers, I'm gonna start now. So come on closer and show everybody what I'm gonna do. Um, you know what, let me remove this cover so I have a little bit more room to work with. I hope that they don't freak out again and cause more damage. I'm gonna be really careful here. Let me start with this guy. Okay, stay right there, don't get too close. They're gonna start freaking out. Because they're not, because they're tucked away over here and they, they don't really see people too often. That's one spine. See? This was the guy that hurt the other ones because you see the skin is off. Can you see it? The skin is off and you, the white tip is exposed. So this is the one that did the puncturing of the other fish. So. Let's take care of this guy first. See, he's a little agitated. Okay, this one's calm. No. We'll just go with whatever's easier. Nope. See, they twitch like that. That's what I gotta worry if they're gonna strike or not. See, they twitch. Oh, there's another one. Okay. So the bigger one is done. And that was the one that caused all the damage. And then let me just, oh, you know what? The water's getting kind of low here. Let me close the pump. Whoa. I caught a little bit of this one. Tiny little piece. But I guess the most important is getting the tip off. Whoa. Did you see that one fly away? Uh, oh, under right there. Okay, I don't want to. Okay, and this one has one more. Here we go. Okay, let me get rid of the spine. There it goes. There it is. Okay, in the camera. So now that the water level is a little bit lower, you can see more clearly the damage that was done. It was right there, those two pokes right there. Can you see it? Yeah. And then on the on this one, just poked up or shredded up right there. Okay, but anyways, most likely what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this bigger one and release it down into the main tank 
I didn't do that earlier because there is a mature male down there and this is a young female and I was worried that the male will attack her but at this point I have no choice this basket's kind of tight so I will be releasing her down there and we'll see what happens if if she gets picked on then I will move it somewhere else all right so I'm done draining the tank it's as low as I can get it without having to keep the system off so now I'm filling it back up let me show you see I drained this tank pretty much all the way down only left like two and a half inches just enough just enough to keep the rate covered and same thing down here I did about I would say 75 to 80 percent right these baskets they all have a little bottom with uh, like half an inch so they're they're still in water and same thing here with the snow leopard so now I am filling it all up with new water right now and uh, give me a few minutes while the system is filling now give me a few minutes while this finish while this system give me a few minutes while this system is filling and once it's done I will show you the difference before and after you'll be amazed I just stepped back so you can get a, a better view of the whole tank it's filling up fairly quickly it's about halfway there already I think you guys can already see the difference the water is much much clearer all right everybody let's look at what we got here uh, it's been about an hour and a half since I finished the water change I went to do other stuff grab a bite to eat now I come back and take a look at this tank now crystal clear all the way to the end you can see the filter all the way on the other side look at that fish are active happy healthy waiting to be fed responsive look at that the bottom tank that thing was completely cloudy and you couldn't see to the other side now look at it it is all crystal clear just the way I like it so that tank is taken care of I'm sure I got many other tanks that I got to do the same thing to just giving you that one example thank you guys for watching um, like, share, subscribe, and I have more videos coming for you really soon.